This person has wrote online somewhere saying, Right and wise, Cell Games Gohan is the second worst written instance of the character in the entire series, behind only Buark Ultimate Gohan. Him literally refusing to fight Cell, the villain who he would be stronger than in Super Saiyan alone if he used his full power, makes no sense. Against Dodoria, Raccoon, Ginyu, and even Frieza, he didn't hesitate to go all out the moment others were getting hurt slash nearly killed. Yet he freezes up against Cell even after getting angry due to the fact that Cell Junior, due to the Cell Juniors beating down his friends and family under Cell's instructions to kill them. Why? Because there was an expectation for him to perform, <laughs> and that's the take. That's it. So he thinks, yeah, Gohan, it was stupid of the fact that he wouldn't go all out, whereas he did previously. But that's not why. <laughs> the reason is that he was afraid of if he lo- if he if he unleashes his power, he won't be able to reel it back in. Mm. That he'll just go too far and he'll enjoy it too much, and he's, he'll become too dangerous. He knows that he'll he knows he's got this latent power. And he knows that he's afraid of it. Mm. He knows it's there and he's afraid of it. He's he's not daft. <laughs> he's not just afraid to fight. I mean, he also does have a fear of fighting. I mean, he's, he's, he is a child yeah. at the same time, but he is aware of this latent power and he, he is aware of the expectations that people have of him. Mm. But at the same time, he's aware of his latent power and what it, and what it could do to him. I think it's very, I think it's very bland to say that he's just, he doesn't want to fight because he's a pacifist. It's not as simple as the fact that he just wants to be a pacifist. I mean, he's clearly someone who's evil. I don't think it's a case of expectations. Mm. I think that's very lazy to say that. I think this is another one of those takes where it's just being very vague yeah. and you're trying to paint over a lot of other things where they've been explored previously. I mean, to say this, you're ignoring all the previous sagas and all the all the exposition and foreshadowing that's been before this yeah in my opinion i think in defense of the guy the main point he's trying to get at is the fact that he doesn't go all out when he could easily defeat cell which i can see his point maybe the bit about him saying there was an expectation of performing that's why he didn't go all out yeah i don't agree with that but also, I kind of see where he's coming from. Because like you said, he did go all out against Frieza and Dodoria and Ginyu and all the rest. And he doesn't straight away for Cell. Even though he does see Cell beforehand, even though he goes into the time chamber for a year with Goku, he still doesn't just fight him full power straight away. I can see that point. Why doesn't he? I think that's the main thing he's going for here. Um... And yeah, you've kind of summed it up, you know, he doesn't want to go all out in case it kind of takes over him. But also I can see this point where he's saying, well, yeah, maybe, but it hasn't happened the other time, so why not just beat Cell and then see what happens afterwards? But I mean, at the same time, he's a child. Yeah. Like, like he's this, this giant monster. Think of every time, think of the time Krillin was blown up by Frieza. Hmm. What happened to Gohan? He was frozen in terrified fear. Yeah. What happened when Nappa was punched towards him and it was expected to, for Gohan to finish him off? He mm. was terrified. He's, it's not a necessary of him expectation to perform. It's the, expectation, it's the fact that he's a child mm. and he's scared. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's not a grown adult like Goku who's been fighting his entire life. He also doesn't enjoy fighting. Mm. Goku's in there. He's fighting. He loves it. He lives for it. Gohan doesn't. He's a pacifist. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't enjoy fighting. Yeah. He's To him, fighting isn't a love. No. He, he's a child and he's scared. I mean, it doesn't... I think, I think it's strange to ignore that and to to not think of every single time gohan has been scared Mm -hmm. in the past to see every single time he's he's been exposed to a situation where he's been terrified and there are plenty of them throughout the series Hmm. and it just demonstrates that when he snaps 
you see it in Gohan, and he he, and you see him snap against Cell, mm -hmm. and when he does, he's a demon. Yeah. Like he he literally embraces it and he loves it and he he toys with Cell mm -hmm. and he, he gets people killed, um, and he loves it, um, and that's why I don't like to take because he does. Um, mm -hmm. But prior to that, before he snaps, before the power goes, he's a kid. Yeah. Um, and he's scared. He, he doesn't understand his power. He knows it's there, but he doesn't really know how to tap it. Goku's been trying to explain it to him. He's been trying to, to bring it out of him in the hyperbolic, and he's been trying to to he's been trying to show him, mm. trying to train him, but telling him and experience is two different things. To him, he's just he's just Gohan. Mm. That's just it's just me um yeah and you've got to remember as well like you mentioned it he is a child he's like how old 12 13 during the cell yeah. saga and you know what you like at that age you tell a kid to do something they're gonna do the opposite you say go yeah. on go fight and he's like no don't want to <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah you you kind of summed it up really well and it, it echoes all of my thoughts as well like you see him throughout the series from the very beginning that he's introduced really that he is a scholar and you know Chi Chi has really drilled that into him to study and to work hard and every time he's trying he kind of gets forced away by Goku to fight you know he goes to Namek which I guess they thought at the time that this is going to be a peaceful thing let's just go get the Dragon Balls come back home job done um obviously that doesn't work out and when he's there, he's scarred for life by seeing multiple people die. He sees his only f kind of friend, I guess, at this point, Krillin, explode in front of him. And, uh, yeah, it's not fun for him. He doesn't have a good time. And during the Cell Saga, again, you know, he kind of just wants to relax and he doesn't want to be involved. And it does take his friends being beat up, but it's not like he's not getting involved. He is getting involved. He just... He isn't going completely full power because he is scared, like you mentioned. And, okay. yeah. And he also, he doesn't know how to access that power. It's, yeah. He can't just turn it on and off. Hmm. Because, like, for instance, think of one of the times when he accessed it. Is when Piccolo picked him up and threw him at a mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he basically was like, Protect yourself. I don't know how. Okay, I'm going to launch it a mountain. And he screamed and cried and cried and cried. And then just as he, he, he exploded into the power and he accessed it and he chucked his arms out and he blew it up. Mm. It's it's a fight or flight. It's a it's a reactionary take. Yeah. And it, it took the basically 16 made it click, didn't it? Mm. And the death of 16 is what finally kind of clicked it. And... um. And so it's it's like it's it's a switch, yeah. and it always takes something. There has to be a trigger. Mm. You can't just choose to access it. That's why it's a latent power mm. and not just a power. If it was a power, it would just be a form that he could turn on and off. Yeah, that's why the Super Saiyan two transformation is as impressive as it is. That's incredible. Otherwise, Super Saiyan two would have just been a thing already. Mm. That's why it's because it's. It ha there has to be a, um, a catalyst. That's yeah, the word. Exactly. Want. Yeah. Um, and that was the catalyst. Um, and so, yeah, going all out, it wasn't just a choice. You can't just choose to turn on Super Saiyan 2 mm. for the very first time of any character in the history of Dragon Ball ever doing it. That's not how it <laughs> That's works. Point. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, so it's it's not choosing to go all out. It's a latent power finally being activated. Mm. And also, yeah. you've got to remember, if he did just go all out, what type of story is that? <laughs> you know, yeah, you don't exactly. see anything. If Gohan yeah. just goes, I'll deal with this, bang, Cell's dead in first form before he even transforms or anything, it's like, well, okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's just like, hold my poncho, yeah. <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> exactly yeah so he needs reasons and it makes sense story-wise and i don't really think anyone has a problem with with how it worked out like yeah everyone knows gohan is strong but i don't think anyone's really questioned the reason why it takes him so long to kind of power up the way he does 
And like you mentioned, it is one of the best moments in Dragon Ball, him turning Super Saiyan 2 uh, for the first time and then defeating Cell. Incredible. And a lot of people think of Cell, well, the Cell arc as the best arc, so I have mm-hmm. no complaints. And yeah, I disagree with this take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think I think you can't make such a big deal about the legendary Super Saiyan mm. and then there being a form after the legendary <laughs> Super Saiyan. Yeah. And then not having to be a catalyst to activate that. Exactly. Yeah. That's insane. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah. To him to choose and then just to be able to choose to activate that by going all out. No, that's that's not how it works. Yeah. Um, so no, that's that's a disagree with it. That there needs to be a catalyst, and his foreshadowed catalyst of how many arcs? Three, four Three. arcs. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. 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 That it's been foreshadowed since Raditz, yeah. <laughs> the headbutt of Raditz, mm. him turning. So that's not lazy writing. That's, that's aggression. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's a culmination of a lot of work, mm. uh, a lot of Piccolo's work as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so no, I, I disagree with the take based on that. I don't think it's lazy writing. I don't think it's poor writing. I think that. I think it's just. I don't think it's. I think it's the fact that it's a kid mm. who doesn't understand his latent power, who isn't a fighter, who, yeah, he's he doesn't understand it and he doesn't want to be there. Yeah, he's forced into circumstances and he's forced into a situation that he doesn't understand. And, and circumstance, it's all a matter of circumstance. Yeah, basically, I agree, yeah. and we're both in agreement. We don't really agree with this take at all and yeah i think we've explained pretty well as to why 